Today we will discuss about developmental pattern of tibiofemoral angle. The tibiofemoral angle is an angle between anatomical axis of femur with the anatomical axis of tibia. In this image you can see the tibiofemoral angle, the angle between the anatomical axis of femur to the anatomical axis of tibia. Normal tibiofemoral angle is a valgus angle and it is 4 to 6 degree. Now we will discuss about development of the tibiofemoral angle during growth. It is described by Salinius and Manga in 1975. So at birth, the normal angle is 15 degree varus and by the age of 2 years, it reaches to 0 degree of tibiofemoral angle. And by the age of 3 years, it reaches up to maximum valgus angle and it is about 10 degree. And by the age of 7 years, it reaches to the normal adult to valgus angle, that is a normal tibiofemoral angle of 6 degree. And that is the normal development of tibiofemoral angle during growth. Next, we will discuss about factors affecting tibiofemoral angle. First one is the genetic factors. Next is the intrauterine posturing of child. The nutritional status of child like rickets. Then hormonal factors, ligamentous laxity, anatomical peculiarities of femur and tibia which change with age, and adaptive changes to weight bearing and differential growth of physis. These are various factors affecting tibiofemoral angle. So next is difference between mechanical and anatomical axis of femur. First is the anatomical axis of femur. So it is a line drawn through the medullary canal of the femur. That is the anatomical axis. So that is bisecting with the medullary canal of femur. Next is mechanical axis of femur. So mechanical axis of femur is a line drawn from center of femoral head to a point where the anatomical axis meet the intercondylar nodes and this line is known as the mechanical axis of femur and there is a difference of 6 degree between the anatomical and mechanical axis of femur. So what is mechanical axis of lower limb? Mechanical axis of lower limb is the line drawn from the center of femoral head to the center of angle and anatomical and mechanical axis of femur are different and there is a 6 degree of difference between the mechanical axis and anatomical axis of femur. The next is Q angle. So Q angle is also known as quadriceps angle and it is defined as the angle formed between the quadriceps muscle and the patellar tendon. So the mean Q angle for females is 17 degree and in males the Q angle is 14 degree. How to determine Q angle? First line is drawn from anterior superior iliac spine to the midpoint of patella and a second line which is drawn from from the midpoint of the patella to the tibial tuberosity. The angle between these two lines is known as the Q angle. And if the Q angle is small, that means it is a genu valgum or knocked knee. If the Q angle is less, that means it is a varus knee or a bow leg. Like. 